So this is what I'm talking about with the timing mark. If you were installing the timing chain, you gotta make sure the bottom dot and the top dot are both down here. The, the top one would be here in the cam gear. But if you put your distributor in at that point, it'll be 180 out. It's the same way on a small block Chevrolet and your engine will not run. It'll pop and crack and do all kinds of horrible stuff that'll make you wish, make you not know what's going on. But and I've learned that from doing it on a Chevrolet the wrong way. But the way this is, when we install that, it should be in the correct spot. So now I'm gonna be at the point of putting the the valley cover on and the intake and also the front cover, the water pump, fuel pump, oil pump. We're really getting close to, I mean, the a lot of the hard stuff's done. The bottom end's put together now. All right, so I did a little work off camera. I didn't uh, think about it while I was doing it, but I put the lifter valley pan cover on. It's got three bolts that go across the top underneath the intake. And they're three different lengths. So you really can't mix them up. They torque down to 24 in 25 inch pounds, according to the manual. Then I put the intake on, which has eight bolts total. I think from the factory, two of these bolts, two of them were studs with nuts on them. I just went ahead and put bolts back in there. And these are the original bolts that went in the corners. And it, it tells you to torque the four corners at 30 foot pounds and the four middle ones at 25 foot pounds. And now I'm in the process of putting this uh, aluminum front engine cover on. It has a total of, it has a bunch of different bolts and they're all different lengths and sizes. I went through and measured them all. But there's a drawing in the uh, manual that tells you exactly where they go. So it's uh, six different sizes and it tells you how many of them and what to tighten them to. So the three eighths ones, which are the ones that go through the water pump, the large ones, torque down to 40 foot pounds, I mean 30 foot pounds, and the others are like 10. It's a lot smaller. So anyway, that's what I'm doing. I really, I mean, you really need to have a manual for this if you're doing this, but uh, it's starting to come together. I gotta repaint the valve covers. These are the, one, the way they were when the guy gave them to me. I believe they're forward blue is what they look like to me. But I will repaint them. But I gotta get this stuck together since I've got a gasket sealer on both sides of the gaskets. Again, the four large bolts. I'm gonna torque, well, that's actually 20 foot pounds. They're gonna torque to 20 foot pounds. They're three eighths bolts. I'm not going to tighten them down much. I'm going to make sure I get them all started before I start tightening them. I'm just slugging them down right now. All right, so this screw has to go in before the water pump. I have to loosen the water pump up. There's a screw that goes behind the neck here. I knew that and I forgot about it. First time going around, so I guess if anybody 
probably the ideal way to do it is be put in all these bottom bolts first and not touch the upper ones until you get the bottom ones in. the water pump goes on. I'm probably going to go ahead and do easy to do it the right way now. So all the 5 16th bolts torque to 10 foot pounds. And 5 16ths is talking about the size of the bolt, not the head. size of the head is half inch. And there's a few of them that go in on this bottom part. saying that says I know I did it right because I did it twice. Just the case on this one. crisscross pattern and it doesn't really give you a torque. Pattern that you're supposed to go in. Ten 
foot pounds and go back and double check them because you're pressing stuff down here. And I know some people might not use a gasket sealer on both sides of the gasket always, but these aluminum plates, the aluminum pieces here are kind of pitted in certain areas. I wanted to go ahead and make sure that it's sealed good. careful with my gasket because I'm all over the place with it. Okay, so the front cover is now installed, all the bolts are in it, all the bolts are the correct length, all the bolts are torqued to the correct specification. So we made a lot of progress on this this weekend. Also, I've tapped these holes here to uh, quarter inch pipe plugs. Uh, information that I've got online said that they eliminated these in 1970. So everybody's saying that they just plug them, that they cause more problems than they than they are good. So I've got to get me some quarter, I mean some quarter inch MPT plugs and put in there. Anyway, that's where we're at. So my next step will be to put this water manifold on, and I understand that can be a bad spot for a leak. So we'll see how that goes.